April 30th, a blue UFO meteor was caught on a policeman's body cam, also caught on ring doorbells nearby. That same night, there was a phone call to the police station about two alien looking creatures in their garden. April 30th, 10 to midnight, this policeman's body cam captured this going through the sky. Now, if you're anything like me, you will have immediately gone to this. And sadly, no, the Transformers are not coming to Earth. But, still very peculiar. Also, 39 minutes later, the police received this call. There's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's over. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a dope. This is actually weird. So there's, two, of it. so there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes and... And they're not human. They're 100% not human. That call was received at 29 minutes past midnight and the police didn't deal with it as a hoax call. They took it seriously and went to investigate the house. So as you can see here, this footage is of the policeman at the house talking to the residents who live there about what was mentioned in that phone call. Eight, nine, ten foot, shiny eyes, doesn't look human whatsoever. A better angle of the meteor as well was seen on this ring doorbell footage. It's clear that something has broke our atmosphere and has shot through the sky. This has been going on for two weeks now and I've been keeping a close eye on it. And the information I found was shortly after this, the Metropolitan Police of Las Vegas, which is where this happened, put a surveillance camera on the house. People were saying, well, that's it, aliens. They must be keeping a lookout for if these aliens come back. But apparently not. They put this surveillance camera there to keep an eye on anyone that went to the house to try and find the aliens. So this surveillance camera was supposedly there for the protection of the people who live there, not to capture footage of aliens. People just kept on reporting the story. We've got the Daily Mirror, we've got the Sun. You got Metro still posting stuff about it. You got Vice, all sorts of these social media platforms, Lad Bible posting about what's going on. And every day something gets added just to make it a bit more strange. NASA have come out and said that it was almost a definite meteor. NASA also say, which can be shown here on the mirror, that it didn't crash in Las Vegas due to it being so high in the atmosphere. It would have kept on going, it wouldn't just go it would have just kept going for hundreds of miles and crashed somewhere if it did crash. It could have even just stayed on the atmosphere and just broke and just gone straight out. People just do not know and all these other reporters and even the police aren't really saying much. NASA are coming out and saying a few bits like I've just said there. Who knows? I just think this needs to be brought to light. There's obviously a lot of videos out there that go into it into a lot more detail. George Knapp is obviously on the scene telling his part about what's going on and he's just going into a bit more detail and debunking some stuff like apparently the residents at the house said there was some men in black outside but this was later said that it was just a man who was interested in what was going on and he would drive by the house slowly, park outside and he'd watch them so there wasn't actually any men in black that went to the house this could literally just be a blue meteor, not a UFO, not a spacecraft, hasn't landed anywhere near Las Vegas. It's just how this was a phone call on the same night, only 39 minutes after police and other neighbors around the area seen this. It's just the coincidence, but 
like I'm saying, who knows? As of now, there's nothing really solid evidence suggesting a UFO or UAP or anything. So it's it probably most likely just a meteor, and that's what even NASA is saying. So I'm going to stick with that one. I'm obviously going to keep an eye on what's going on. All the information I've said was updated on the 19th of June. That was the newest article I could find with some extra information about NASA. But other than that, it will, was about 12 to 13 days ago when it first came to light and there was all these news articles about it and YouTube videos. So I will keep a close eye on it and hopefully something might come out. Some, hopefully they'll find it. That's really what you want to look at. But yet again, it's now coming out when there's a new whistleblower talking about how the government have all these kinds of flying saucers and he was in the military and he's seen all this stuff and it's just all going on for some reason in the past two months there's been loads of alien ufo kind of activity conspiracies going on so i'll just keep my finger on the pulse and i'll see what happens and i'll obviously make a youtube video and update yourselves but i just thought this could maybe be another one where i could hear your opinions what do you think is it a UFO, is it a meteor, did aliens come down, who knows, but as of now there's nothing solid yet, but hopefully something could come to light and make us all see that it was actually an alien or UFO. If you did enjoy this video, please check this one out, like and subscribe and follow me while I hunt for paranormal sightings and events that are beyond belief.